everyone, it's Annette and welcome back to Cotto Verdi. Today we're going to prune our eucalyptus hedge and this hedge we pollarded a couple of years ago. And it has grown back um, so beautifully but it's about twice my height now I should think. Um, so it desperately needs sort of um, topping off and that's what we're going to do today. And even though it's the middle of July, I think it's absolutely fine to prune it now. In fact, you can take cuttings from the eucalyptus hedge if you want to use them for flower arrangements and things like that. So pruning should be no problem at all. So we're gonna prune it today and I'm going to show you how we do that. taking off this much it's at least as tall as me um, and I guess where we're cutting the stems um, it's approximately what is that it's about an inch so we're cutting the trunk um, where it's about an inch thick and if you do it and um, when it's about this thick um, then what you'll find is it will regrow um, and it will send up lots of new shoots at the point where you're cutting it. Not on this branch, on the bit that's left. <laughs> but if you cut really thin bits, like this bit, um, that's not going to necessarily send up a new shoot. So it's the thicker stems that will send up new shoots. And so we're just going to take all the thick stems off to start off with um, at about this height, where my husband is. He's kind of, I said, cut it at his height. He's six foot tall. And so that's what we're doing to start off with. So this is the old wound here where we pollarded. So this is the sort of foot of trunk that we've got left. And these are all the branches that came out of it. So really, really strong branches. So it's all finished and I hope you agree it looks much neater. It still gives us full privacy and that nice sort of screened feeling we have on our patio, which I love. And it's still very healthy, looks wonderful, smells amazing. And um, we've got lots of cuttings that I can use in flower arrangements over the next few days. Um, it's a much better height now and hopefully we've stopped that crazy growth that was going to turn the hedge into a tree. And so I think it was a really good time to do it. I hope you found this interesting and useful. Let me know if you've got any questions, just pop them in the comments below and I'll get back to you. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you all next time.